welcome to Kwawar Power. Today we explore the cloud forests of northern Laos, in the province of Udomsai near the Chinese border. Although much of the forest in Udomsai province has been destroyed to make room for rubber plantations, one mountain, Puhipi, still retains its original old growth forest. The reason? Locals believe it is haunted. June the 12th, I am in Udomsai, Laos, and I'm going to head up towards the mist shrouded peak of Puhipi, back here in the background, and see what's running around. Like tiny forest spirits, Juvenile praying mantises patrol leaves for ants and other prey. Some of them are accomplished jumpers. A vast array of beetles patrols the jungle. This scarab appears to have swimming legs. A blister beetle filled with irritating fluid chews the nutritious capsules of spores out of a fern frond. This carrion beetle tests the air for the scent of decay with sensitive antennae. The male giraffe weevil is blessed with an excess of neck. They cut circles out of leaves, which the females find attractive. An enormous immature stink bug called a shield bug creeps across the rust-colored mud. Bright colors advertise a foul taste. The 8 centimeter long adults are so large that other insects use them as habitats. Assassin bugs prowl the foliage, stabbing their prey with sharp drills inside their beaks. Grasshoppers chew relentlessly on jungle plants. This one is happy to get a taste of salt off my camera bag. Salt is hard to come by in a rainforest. This butterfly sucks rainwater out of puddles, extracts the minute concentration of salt, and squirts the water out its anus. It can process extraordinary volumes of fluid in this fashion. Other butterflies taste the ground for salt. Or sip nectar from flowers. Where there are butterflies, there are caterpillars. The elaborate hairs on this one are tipped with irritating fluid. This caterpillar has been hijacked by wasp larvae. The young wasps have been living off its fat reserves as they develop. Now that they are ready to come out, the caterpillar has unwillingly spun a silken crib for their comfort. Another wasp has stunned a spider and will bury it for a similar purpose. Some objects in the jungle defy description or identification. This looks like the withered part of a plant that once held berries. Squadrons of dragonflies buzz through the forest. A damselfly, smaller cousin of the dragonfly, hunts mosquitoes and midges at the creekside. Like a potato on eight wiry legs, a harvest man searches for food. Springtails, mites, rotten vegetation, and dead insects. This harvest man has found a delicious mushroom. It gorges on the sweet flesh and covers its face with sticky spores. Plants, too, fall victim to parasites, as these lesions show. This unusual insect is a thrips. At one centimeter, it is far larger than its typical North American relatives. Much remains to be discovered about thrips. White flowers open at dusk, attracting crepuscular pollinators, like this cockroach. A pit viper appears on the trail and coils threateningly. Large animals are rare on Puhipi because of local hunters using homemade rifles like this one. A juvenile walking stick looks like a pale phantom against a leaf. Once the day has cooled, tens of thousands of termites congregate on the forest floor. A toad, confident in its foul taste, sits king-like near the top of the hill. Vines, straining for sunlight, twine around one another and climb skyward. The city of Udomsai, ancient crossroads between Laos, Thailand, and China, sprawls across the valley floor. 
With an ever-growing population, demand for resources like lumber and farmland is a constant threat to the sanctuary of Puhipi. With luck, local superstition will prevail, at least until Puhipi can gain protected status as Udomsai's most magnificent natural treasure. I'm Arlo Pellegrin. Thank you for watching Quower Power.